Yo, what's up guys? I'm back again with another video. And guys, this time it's on a new finish. The once a year car polish. Says no rubbing, no buffing. And uh, as far as the smell guys go, it's got the same bad kerosene smell. But um, smell can be deceiving though guys. You know, maybe it does a great job. I did a video on this in the pace. So I wanted to come back and do this in a liquid form here. And uh, make sure you got your microfibers on point right there. Brand new. Right there. And you got your just an old applicator pad I'm using. And uh, right there. And uh, an old microfiber cloth I'm going to use today. And uh, we're going to get into the directions. This stuff smells like kerosene. Okay, the direction says the once a year car polish. It's a wash and dry car. Shake well and apply with damp cloth or one section at a time. Let dry to a haze and wipe off with clean, soft cloth. So, guys, this, um, let's sort of put this on damp. This in here. Um,. The pace kind was really good, you know, so um, I would say this stuff probably pretty good too, but uh, if it's not good, then we'll find out, and uh, we're just going to apply it onto the applicator here, and uh, see, what, see what she do, and uh, this stuff retailed me $7 and some change, so it wasn't very cheap, you know, I got picked this up at Walmart. I think it was $7.47, something like 48 cents, something like that. But um, we'll see. I hope it's well worth it, you know, in this liquid form. The paste was pretty good. So I feel like the liquid might got to be pretty good, too. So anyway, guys, let's jump into it. Don't waste a whole lot of time here. We're going to see what this stuff will do, man. We'll put a little bit on the applicator there. Okay. Here we go. Put it up there, see how it should come out. Already shook it up. Comes out a lot here. Kind of thick. Okay. Somewhat thick here, guys. Almost kind of pacey like. But we shall see. Let's do, let's do the butterfly with it a little bit here. We're going to give it a spread around the applicator pad. Like that. Here we go. Doing a quarter pounder here. On my 9500C. Everything's been stripped off. With white alcohol vinegar. stuff dries so fast I'm telling you guys it dries before you almost get finished spreading it up here so you ain't got a whole lot of time to play with it stuff it dries fast man so being it dries so fast stand back and look here being it dries so fast what am I doing I'm gonna apply. I'm gonna apply a second coat, guys, because man, this stuff dried up very fast. Grip the car tight. Um, from where I'm putting it on here, it feels like it goes down into the paint instead of going on the paint. I would say that's probably a good thing. You know. Okay. Spray that around the applicator a bit. Okay, guys, this is second coat here. Like I said, you got to go on head on and work with this stuff because it ain't got no time to waste. It dries up very fast. Okay. So once you put it up there, 
go ahead on and do what you're going to do. And I actually prefer working. It works better than the pace form, in my opinion. Um, I'd rather work with this better because it doesn't clunk up like, you know. The pace formula kind of clunked a little. But anyway, she dried on up again. And I'm going to let it sit like it said do. We're going to allow it dry to a haze for a second or two. Give it a minute. And uh, we'll see what she'll do. How she shine. And I'm going to put it up against a lot of my other waxes, guys. I'm going to see how good she bead also. So y'all know I go by that beading action, man. That tells me how hydrophobic the waxes are when they bead. You know, like I tell you guys, if it ain't that much beading action going on, She's not that hydrophobic. That's what it's telling me. That's all I'm going to go by. I know some people say she. I don't know. It don't rain every day, you know. <laughs> I like that beating action for myself. <laughs> so people forgetting about dew and stuff like that. You got dew and humidity and stuff. It's just the worst as rain, you know. So um, beating is what I go by, guys. If the wax doesn't bead as good, it ain't really worth my time. You no, know, I use it, but I wouldn't use it for a maximum protection if it doesn't bead that much. Just wasting your elbow grease, really. God, I do like I said, God, I always go by that beading action when it comes to great waxes. Because that's what I'm going by. If it don't be, it's not that hydrophobic in here. Alright, here we go, guys. Let's take this off. She dry right on in. It doesn't take long. Also, gives a great shine. I tell you that much. That was great. Highly recommend it. Already. And she all off, and it comes off like soap. Flip rag over. Repeat the process. And uh, yeah, guys, it comes off like soap. Little to no effort at all to get the stuff back up. Very slick feeling. So, uh, yeah, it's a good product here. I'm going to come back, guys, uh, with the bead test. Matter of fact, I can hit it now. I can see how she be. But, I'm going to come back and do a video. See how she be against others. I'm a little cart sit up right there, guys. Alright. Come back, see how she be against others. Okay, here we go. Gives a great shine, as you can see. Nice, brilliant shine. Look at that. Can't ask for a butter shine. Check that out, guys. She gives a nice shine. Let's see how she stand up. Oh, man. Stand up nicely. Oh, yeah. This, now, this is what I'm talking about. That's all the water you need right there. All you need. See, this is what I'm talking about right here, guys. And a good wax. See how she bees right here? Now I know a lot of people talking about sheen. Forget sheen. It don't take that much water to find out how hydrophobic this stuff is. Just a little couple squirts. You want that beading action here. See that? You see how she beading up right up off that paint job? Let's get it from my anchor. See how she's standing right up? That's what I'm looking for right here, man. This is a great wax, guys. Look at that. She's standing right up. Look at that. This stuff is amazing. Seven dollars well spent, guys. It's beating like it's very hydrophobic. So I don't know if it's like colonite, but I'll put it up against it. Um, you can just see. Look at that how good she beating right here. Look at that. Oh, man, she is beating hard. That's what you look for, guys, in a cheap wax. 
If you want something cheaper, it does a good job. It's a once a year car polish. Anyway, see right here? It's a new finish. The once a year car polish. So, it's a well spent $7 some change here. Once again, you can see how good this stuff bees up, man. Now, this is something you really want to protect your paint with. This is what you call maximum protection. When you see wax is beating like this right here, guys, it's standing up on the paint. So then when it rains, it's standing up the same way. You know, see that? Moisture and humidity, dew, stuff like that, man. Light rain, it's still going to beat up. It's giving maximum protection to your paint. See that, how she's standing up? And that's what you look for. I don't care about the sheeting and all this kind of mess. Because it doesn't rain all the time. You know, you got to look at the humidity, the moisture outside and stuff like that also. It ain't always that rain that eats your car up. Could be due moisture, humidity, you know. So, and when it's beating up like this, you got a maximum protection on your paint. And you can see how good the stuff standing up here. Look at that. And that's what I'm looking for. I don't care what nobody else say or whoever. That's what I'm looking for. The beating action and the wax. That tell me how hydrophobic it is. All right. So, guys, there you have it, man. It's been a demo review of the new finish once a year. Liquid car polish. Uh, I did the pace already, and here go the liquid. Now, guys, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. Share my videos with your family and your friends. And uh, guys, help your friends and your family keep them rides clean. And guys, take care. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Look how hydrophobic this stuff is, man. Look at this. That's what you want in a good wax, man. Polish or whatever. That's what you're looking for. You want something to stand up on your paint. Not lay down on it. See you guys.